So recently I had a friend of mine who told me a pretty interesting story. It was actually a special story, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. So they had their wedding anniversary coming up, and her husband had planned a special moment, went to the restaurant, I mean, made reservations for the restaurant. Everything was perfect, got her beautiful flowers and everything. So, uh, so my friend goes to the restaurant, she has a good time, you know, having a really nice meal, you know, great restaurant and everything. So when it came time to pay for the bill, the waiter comes up, you know, drops, drops that bill there, and husband takes out his, his uh, debit card, you know, gives it to the waiter. The waiter comes back and uh, says, I'm sorry, sir, but your card has been declined. Wow. Talk about a romantic woman killer there. <laughs> so um, today we're going to talk about how to avoid situations like that. How many of you have ever had something like that happen to you, it, whether it's getting gasoline or getting fast food, and all of a sudden, sorry, your car is declined. Yeah, so, okay, so a couple of you guys, are you all right? So that, that, that has happened to a, a few of us. So we're going to talk about how to prevent those things from happening to us. And so we're going to talk about how to save and how to budget. In order to do that, first thing we have to establish is uh, what our financial goals are, okay? So our financial goals are going to be different for each and every one of us. We all have an individual unique plan. And we have to talk about what's truly important to each of us. So if you had a stat rank, some of these financial categories, what order would you put each of these orders, uh, these topics in? So when it comes to saving, I mean, everybody's saving for different reasons. Could it be just maybe an emergency fund account? If I had an emergency, I'm going to have some, some money set aside. I'd like to have that plan one day. Maybe a wedding's coming up. Maybe a, a son or daughter's going off to college. Uh, possibly... You know, maybe there's a, you're going to buy a new car. The, you know, the car you've had has been faithful, but now it's breaking down on you, so you got to buy a new vehicle. Maybe it's buying a, a home, your dream home. You've been really waiting for that day to come, right? And other things that people save up for is retirement. You can uh, either invest on your own, save up your own retirement money through a Roth or a traditional IRA. Or you can do a 457 plan through your employer that's also a retirement plan. And sometimes people are... are, are saving up or they're wanting to use some of their money for investing. That could be a 401k through their employer or it could also be uh, buying stocks and bonds. All right, so before we can do any of that, we have to figure out a couple of things, and that is how to evaluate our income, okay? So we have to determine, first of all, what type of monthly income that we're earning each month. So the first one, we're going to talk about gross versus net. Your gross income is what uh, you earn, Okay, before you, you pay any type of tax deductions, any kind of withholdings come out of your paycheck. So you go to a job, you work 40 hours, you get paid a, a certain amount per hour, and that's what your gross income is. Your net income is what you take home after Uncle Sam gets his portion, right? So, or that could be maybe insurance or health insurance or purchasing for your employer. It could be a flex spending account that we have. So that's what our net income is, is what we take home and we take to the bank and we cash and put into our bank account and pay bills. Okay? And also, a couple of things that we want to determine when we're budgeting is, number one key, I put overtime on here, we don't ever want to budget based on overtime because that, that can change. We're not always, it's good to have overtime, but we're not always guaranteed, guaranteed to have that. Other things that you want to include in your monthly income would be your benefit pay. Possibly some of you receive Social Security, VA, pensions, any, any type of income that you receive, you want to include that. And additional income could be seasonal work that you do. So seasonal could be possibly you get a little extra job during the holidays, Christmas time. So that, that those are seasonal and additional incomes. Or maybe a babysitting, okay? So just little, little obs uh, jobs that you do here and there. So we talked about how to evaluate our monthly income. Let's talk about monthly expenses. So fixed income, does anybody know, excuse me, fixed expenses, does anybody know what might be an example of fixed income? I mean, home fixed payment. expenses? A home payment, okay. Car payment. A car payment, that's right. So those are fixed payments that we already know, we know exactly how much to pay, what day we're going to pay those. Variable payments could be like your cell phone bill. One month you're paying $115, and the next month you're paying $250. So variable, why? Well, maybe we went over our, our minutes, or maybe we went over our uh, data plan, okay? So those are going to be variable expenses. Periodic payments, uh, those are going to be payments that we have to pay once a year. Maybe it's to get a new prescription. It could be also 
possibly to pay the insurance from our, our, our home, homeowner's insurance. Okay, so those are going to be periodic payments. So we definitely have to evaluate and look at those two and determine what is it that we're earning, what's coming in, our household income, and what's leaving our household income. Okay? So once we figure that out, then the next thing is that we have to create a budget plan. So many of you have in your handouts a budget plan. So again, if your budget is going to be completely different from your, from your partner or the person right next to you. So once you've established how many uh, expenses you have and how much income you have, then you're going to want to work with this worksheet. This worksheet talks about uh, the first slide here. You're going to start out with your month. What month is it? January, February, March. So you list your month. And then you'll start with the income. first column is, again, what we talked about, what type of income is that you're receiving. You'll write down the amount, and then you'll go into the expenses. And, and the expenses could be everything. How much you spend on groceries, how much you spend eating out, how much you spend paying the babysitter, all those things. So you'll want to make sure to include those amounts. And also include your savings. What are you giving to your 401 or 457 plan or your Roth IRA or traditional? And so after that, you would have uh, at the end your total income plus your total expenses is going to equal your total savings. So that's extra money that you would have to kind of play with. Maybe that is going to go back again to reaching those financial goals that you first established. Okay, I'm going to get married. I'm going to save up $10,000 for that money or whatever the case is. Okay? So whenever you budget and you create this worksheet and you sit down and you think about a couple of things, the next thing that you're going to want to determine is what's really important. What can I do with what's absolutely necessary? I've got to have it. And what can I do without? So a couple of things we look at is instant gratification and delayed gratification. So if we're looking at purchasing a new vehicle, you might ask yourself, okay, I'm ready to get that new car, but you don't look at the interest rates, you don't really care, you just know you want to get in that new vehicle. Okay? So a couple of things you can consider is, should I buy a new vehicle? Can I afford the payments? Or do I buy a used vehicle? And maybe can I live, can, can I be able to manage those payments? Uh, how is the interest rate going to work out for me? So you got to think about all those things. The other thing is possibly buying clothes. Instead of uh, going in and getting that name brand uh, item, maybe you can just wait till you have a, a sale. A lot of times you have holidays when you do have those promotions and you can get those discounts. So again, you've got to ask yourself, hmm, do I get the clothes now or do I wait for it to go on sale? Okay, well maybe you can still get that same hand run uh, garment, but now it's, it's on sale, so you save yourself $10, $15, okay? Another, uh, I guess, another example would be electronics. How many of you love electronics? You just gotta get the latest everything, right? What happens with, with technology? You get it one minute and the next week it's outdated, right? So you gotta consider some of those things. What I personally do is I wait I won't have special holidays because I know I can go in there and get what I want, but I'm going to put it on credit. I already know I'm going to budget for that, put it aside, but I'm going to have 0% interest and I'm going to pay on that line. So we, we tend to do a lot of that with our electronics, especially like computers, things like that. Okay, So that's going to definitely take some kind of grinding in, sitting down, be committed, okay, and you got to talk to whoever else is in the household because it might not just be your income. Maybe you and your spouse or you and uh, your significant other. So you got to sit down and talk about, again, what's really important. Can we do without this or can we not do without that? So the important things we have to have is we got to have a shelter, right? Somewhere to live. Got to have lights turned on. Got to have some food, you know, to feed the family. All right, so those are things that we can do with. Uh, what about a cell phone? Can we do Can we do without a cell phone? Oh, okay. Can, can someone else not do without? I mean, you have to have a cell phone? Well, some people would say that's a luxury. Yeah, that's a luxury. And, uh, or, or even landlines. A lot of people are doing away with their landlines. They said they're getting uh, their cell phones. So it just kind of everybody varies. All right. So we did talk about, again, what's important, uh, having delayed gratification, instant gratification. So let's take a look at what happens once we already go through all this. We've gone through our, our, our budgeting plan. We talked about what's important to us. So the next thing we want to look at is, and I'm sure you've all heard this, a penny saved is a penny earned, right? Okay. So, again, we're going to talk about some ways that we can save money. 
We already need to determine what's left, what's extra after the budget, what can we use our money for. So you definitely want to try to buy things on sale. How many of you guys are, are uh, very frugal with your money here? Yeah, okay, a couple of you. All right. So you definitely want to buy things on sale. That's what I strongly recommend. Review your insurance policies. You may have a car insurance policy that you got five years ago. But there's a lot of times you can go online and you get a free quote on your insurance. I personally did that for my job, and I got a lower rate. I had double and triple the coverage on my own insurance, so I ended up saving money. And it kind of sounds like a car commercial, right? I'll get your, get your free quote here, you, we can save money. It's true. I did it myself. So it's always good to review your policies, whether it's homeowner's insurance, life insurance, car insurance. There's a lot of ways that you can save money. So when you save that money, that doesn't mean that's, hey, that's extra spending money. No, you should really take that extra money and put it away in a savings account. Okay, again, to reach those financial goals you have. And use coupons. There's a lot of times stores like Walmart that will price match you. So you can take in the ad from another uh, company and they'll match that price. You can give a coupon, different things. You can go online and find coupons and they will match that price. So lots of ways that you can use coupons. How many of you use coupons around here? Not too many? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> good. Coupons are good uh, and they can be bad at the same time because if, if you see a coupon and it's for a certain product, it may be a name brand, name brand product, but if you're not buying that name brand product and you're buying the off-brand, well, you're pretty much sometimes breaking even or maybe you're just better off getting your off-brand product. Okay? So just look at those things carefully. Also, work on your credit. So I know you guys probably didn't think I was going to talk about credit, but credit is also important. Uh, it's important to review your credit, to work on rebuilding and reestablishing your credit if you have credit challenges. And that is going to save you a lot of money. The reason why I say that is when you get auto insurance policies, guess what they do? Those companies look at your credit report. They see you have a low credit score. They're going to assume that you're a high risk customer, therefore you're a liability to that company. What's going to happen to your premium, your insurance payments, they're going to go up. Okay? So work on credit, it's going to definitely save some money. And also if we're looking at purchasing a vehicle, same thing. What do lenders do? They look at your credit report. If you have a good credit score, you get a good payment history, they're going to offer you lower interest rates. What does that mean again? We're going to save some money. Okay? Most importantly, stick to your budget. Okay, you might say, oh, okay, getting back to what I was talking about, we got this extra money, we can do this and that. No, stick to your budget. Don't borrow from one month to another. This is what it is. In my household, when we did budgets and started budgeting uh, way back, we would always blame on Mr. Budget when we couldn't get something. I'm sorry, Mr. Budget says no, we can't get it this month. So, if you have to pass the blame on to Mr. Budget or Mrs. Budget, or whichever you want to use. Okay, so again, all those things that, I, that we talked about are ways that one can learn how to save and how to budget their money. All right? Do I have any questions from anybody? Very good. All right, well, thank you so much. I do appreciate your time. Okay.